people have their preconceived ideas and you know what they they think they have information regarding you know the complex and NVOME. But then when Dr. Gimple comes to campus and spends an hour with you know the the first year students or the second year students and then the faculty, they really too get the true the big picture. Dr. Gimple doesn't come and kind of enlighten us. We probably wouldn't go seek that information otherwise. So I think it's vital for us and for NBOME to keep those lines of communication going. Otherwise, we're all just kind of in the dark. You know, I think it's a great opportunity, particularly for students, uh, to learn more about the mission and the purpose of the NBOME. You know, not only are they uh, you know, interested in learning certainly about the complex series and the assessments piece, but they can learn about some of the resources and toolboxes available through the MBOME, which they may not be uh, aware of. But really, I think it just overall gives them a much better understanding of the pathway to licensure. You know, the MBOME does so much to advocate for our profession. Uh, in my role as uh, the past chair of, of ACOM's Board of Dean, I had firsthand, uh, you know, knowledge and experience with seeing all the things that the MBOME does to uh, to advocate for the osteopathic profession. It's really remarkable. I think it's important to, for MBOME to have a visibility with its constituents, which are students, faculty, you know, administration. We think we're uh, abreast of all of the latest information, but things change, and. You know, we really need to be in close contact with NBOME on every possible level to be successful as a school and for our students to be successful. Mm -hmm.